Wheel of Fortune. With Paul Handy. That's me. And Terry Seymour. And that's me. Yes, there's a new survey out that says five quarters of the population don't understand fractions. And if you don't get that gag, you're one of them. Well, we're not doing things by half when it comes to giving prizes, eh, Steve? A hundred percent gems and a cheque for two thousand pounds. Yes, one spin of the wheel. And our contestants could really clean up. Who are they, Steve? Phil Gibson lives in York and supports Liverpool. That's a big task for one man. Emma Hearn lives in Bournemouth. She's a bit of a sporty type, but can she play our game today on the Wheel of Steel? Andrew Proctor lives in Worcestershire. He's got so many hobbies, I cannot imagine where he works. Andrew, Emma, Phil, which of you will be today's spinner who is a winner? Welcome to the show. Andrew, that's the best waving we've ever had on the Wheel of Fortune. It was really like this. Just give us that wave again, look. That's going to go down in the annals. There it is, look. <laughs> Congratulations. Right, let's play the first puzzle. Remember, there's also a cash pot prize. How much is it worth? £100, Paul. £100. So keep playing until it comes up right now, though. Let's find out what that puzzle is. Over to you, Miss Seymour. Right, well, we're starting with four words, and they make up the star and television programme. The star and the television programme. OK, fingers on your buzzers. Let's gain control of that wheel. Here's the question for you. Hayley Joel Osmond and Jude Law star in which sci-fi tale, Andrew? A1. AI. AI is the correct answer. Well done. You gain control. Give it a good spin. Good start. 1,000 points. Can I have M for November, please? Four of them. You're on a bit of a roll here, aren't you? Another spin. Two fifty. T for tango, please. Three of them. Mm, star on a TV show. Keep going, then. Oh, this is good. Ooh. This is good. Uh, Do you want to gamble? Yeah, I'll gamble. Good man. I'll have M for Mike. There's one. Congratulations. We, we double all your points there. What do you want to do? You might want to buy a vowel at this point. Um, Star a TV show? I'll buy an A, please. A for Apple? Three of them? Hmm. I'll spin on. Spin on? <laughs> 250. D for Derek. Yeah, you got one. <laughs> Go on, then. That's 1,000 points. And I have El Felina. One. Buy another vowel if you want. Yes, I'll have an E for Echo, please. Two of them. Looking for a star and a TV show. Gotta be quick. have to keep going. Go on. And another 1,000 points. Can I have a G for golf, please? Mm. Not there, I'm afraid. Hello, welcome to the show. You've had a long wait. Give it a good spin. <laughs> and that's a free spin for you, Phil. Congratulations. <laughs> 700 points. S for Sierra. There are three of them. TV show. I'll carry on, please. Go on. Oh, 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 so lucky. 200 points. W for whiskey, please. One. Carry on. Carry on. One back. <laughs> 200. R for Romeo. Cash pop prize if you can solve it now. £100 is yours. Amanda Burton, silent witness. Well done, mate. Good tactics going on there. There it is. Look, Amanda Burton, silent witness. Now then, what's this about you having a problem getting into your car? 
I, uh, I was coming out of a, a supermarket and uh, I was with my son. I got to my car, tried the keys in the lock and uh, it wouldn't open, but that's happened before. So uh, I thought I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to break into it, I had the, uh, the shopping. So I started to break, break into it and uh, I got a shout from behind. I said, oh, what are you doing? I was actually breaking into their car. My, my car was exactly the same, but just one down. Breaking into someone else's car. And what do you do for a living? I'm a prison officer. And what's your degree in? Criminology. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's criminal. Steve, what did he got for him? I'll tell you, what an exciting game that was. Well played, both Andrew and Phil. Right, Phil, what have we got here? Music. Of course, the one thing you do need if your car stereo gets stolen, you can take this home and listen to some great stuff. A fabulous little hi fi set, which can be yours. I like that little pose at the end there, very impressive. What do you fancy, Phil? Uh, can I have the DVDs, please? You can have the DVDs, and there's also £100 from the Cash Pop Prize. Congratulations, Thank all you. yours. <laughs> OK, the points have been banked, and it's time for Puzzle 2. And there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is there's another bankrupt on the wheel. Oh. The good news is there's an extra 1,000 points. Yay. And there's also a mystery prize token which I'm going to place on these 750 points. If you land on that and go on to solve the puzzle, the mystery prize will be yours. So let's find out what the puzzle is. What have you got for us, Terry? You're trying to find three words and they make up a place. Here we go. Uh, fingers on buzzers. Here's your question. Um, which hell-raising British band recently celebrated their 10th anniversary? Emma. Oasis. Oasis is the correct answer. Well done and welcome to the show. It's your first spin, isn't it? Go on, give it a big one. Good start, 900 points. H for Harry, please. You've got one. Now. And that's 250. T for Tommy, please. You've got two, then. Mm. Do you want to do? Spin. Spin again, go on then. Yes, pick up that mystery prize token, well done. Now, if you go on to solve the puzzle, the mystery prize will be yours. C for Charlie. You've got one. You can replace. Oh, that one if you want. Um, can I buy an E, please? Buy an E for elephant. Two of them. Helped. What do you want to do? Play on. Spin away. On a roll, 800. G for George. Mm. Not there, I'm afraid. Andrew, big spin. <laughs> 200. End for November, please. There's one there. The place, remember? Four hundred. Um, R for Romeo. One. Find another vowel if you want. Um, can I buy an A, please? A for apple. <laughs> Not there, Phil. Eight hundred. Uh, M for mother, please. No, Emma. Why for Yankee? Yeah, you got one there. <laughs> oh no, disaster, bankrupt. Andrew, here's your chance. Four hundred. Can I have D for Delta? Yeah, you got two of them. Can I solve it? You can solve it. The Forbidden City. Well done, mate. Thank well done. There it is, look. The Forbidden City. <laughs> now, what's this about you being a bit of a great dancer? Is that true? Well, I'm quite well known for my exuberant dancing. And uh, I was at a wedding last year and the DJ played a favourite track of mine by Steps. And um, I turned around in one rather brisk move and smacked the 
chief bridesmaid in the face and knocked her across the dance floor in a whirl of taffeta. She wasn't too pleased. <laughs> a whirl of taffeta. There's a man who's always going around in a whirl of taffeta. What have you got for us, Steve? The beautifully good, Andrew. Right, while Andy, our prize guy, tries to find a plug point, he won't, by the way, silly boy, let me just give you a quick reminder of all the prizes you can go for. There's a washing machine, fridge freezer, hi-fi, DVDs, wine, vacuum cleaner, you can see mounted by kitchenware, cookware, and microwave. There they are. What were you dancing to, by the way? Which track? I think it was probably tragedy. Go on, can you give us, give us a quick tragedy? Very <laughs> 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 impressive. Which prize do you want? Can I have the stereo, please? It's all yours. Thank you. So, we're halfway through the game and it's time to call up the bank and see who's in the lead. In reverse order, Emma has no points. Phil has 2,500, but Andrew's in the lead with a stonking 12,400. <laughs> oh, that big grin there, we like that. But now for you at home, it's time for Terry's two-minute tea break teaser. Terry, what have you got for us? My teaser's got two words and it makes up a book. There you go, a book. I, th I think I know this one. I can never get this, but I think I know this one. You've got two minutes to figure it out. No flipping. <laughs> Who's behind the door? It's number four. Oh, God. Hey, Tim. Come and look at these old photos of Grandad. Oh, I miss him. But at least he had a good send-off. Yeah, we did him proud. He must have saved up like mad. What's a funeral cost these days? Well, they say it's about £4,000. But by the time you had cars, flowers, food and everything else, it's more like 6000 but thankfully, your granddad always said it paid to have proper life insurance. He was smart. He was. So I took his advice. I wanted to make sure that you wouldn't have to find that sort of money at short notice. British Seniors has been chosen by more than 200,000 people across Britain to protect their families. With a guaranteed cash payout up to £10,000 and 100... <laughs> Welcome back. Now, the tea break teaser is still on the board. Go on, Terry, what is it? J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. <laughs> well, I don't know about the Lord of the Rings, but I'm the Wizard of the Wheel, as I put another 1,000 points on it. <laughs> and I've also doubled all the points. <laughs> and whoever solves the next puzzle will have the chance of winning an extra £100 by guessing our special puzzler, which is cunningly connected to the main puzzle. So let's find out what that is, Terry. These three words make up a phrase and there's an apostrophe. Don't forget that apostrophe. OK, fingers on the buzzers, here's your question. At the Sydney Olympics, Steve Redgrave made sporting history by winning his fifth gold medal in which sport? Andrew. Rowing. Rowing is the correct answer. Well done. Give me the spin. That's 800. I have an S for Sierra, please. You have two of them. Give me the spin. Yes, 2,000 points. I have an N for November. Two of them again. Looking for a phrase. Right, I'll have to spin again. Go on then. Miss a turn, Phil. Eight hundred. Uh, G for golf, please. Not there. Emma, see if we can get you some points. That's what you want. Two thousand points. B for Darcy. One. Spin again. Fourteen hundred. Two for Tommy. Can I have a go at solving it? Please? You can. Man's best friend. There it is. Look, thank you very much, Terry. It's man's best friend. Now then, I've got here in my pocket one hundred pounds. 
and it's our special little puzzler which is cunningly connected in some way to man's best friend. If you can solve it, the money's yours. Terry, give us a clue there. It makes up a film. A film. OK, then. Somehow connected to that. You've got five seconds, and your five seconds start now. Cats and dogs. Hey! <laughs> well done, congratulations. There's your £100. Look, you. let's have a look at it. Man's best friend, cats and dogs. <laughs> so, uh, what's this about you and Ragweek, then? Uh, me and a friend were sold for £22 to three male friends. <laughs> £22? Is that all? <laughs> Bargain. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and they dressed us up for an evening out and we had to wear these regulation pants that they'd written on and on their command show our pants to anyone that they pointed at. <laughs> what were the pants like? Um, white and very small. Yes? Yes. <laughs> so going around the town wearing white pants sounds like a normal Friday night for our man Steve. Go on, Steve. <laughs> I don't have 22 quid. Now, listen, I worry about the prize guide. Andy asked me earlier if I thought Yogi Bear ever expected to have a cartoon made about him when he invented the television. Silly lad. Emma, you can choose any prize on that stage. Mmm, they're all good. I don't know. What do you want, Emma? Thank you. Go on, then. It's all yours. Thank you. We're still playing for double points, so let's get straight on and have a look at the next puzzle, Terry. The puzzle has four words and makes up an event. Mm, looking for an event. Ooh, and that sound means it's the speed round. So I'm going to give the wheel a bit of a spin. Come on. Yes, 1,800 points. 1,800, you're happy with that? Yeah. Here's your question to gain control. Which television series is about a mafia family in New Jersey? Phil. Sopranos. Sopranos is the correct answer. Well done. Give me a consonant. Phil, if it's there, you then have five seconds to try and solve the puzzle. S for Sierra. Not there, I'm afraid. Emma. T for Tommy. Three. Can you solve it? No. Andrew. Can I have H for hotel, please? Two of them. Looking for an event. No. No. Phil. Um. D for Delta. Not there. Emma? G for Golf. One. Don't know. Andrew? R for Romeo. Three of them. The Some... Great North Run. <laughs> well done, mate. Very good. There it is, look. The Great North Run. Should we get another prize for you? Yes, I think so. Should I ask that nice man, Steve? What have you got for us, Steve? Well, Andrew, why not celebrate your great day out at Wheel of Fortune with this excellent selection of fine wines? The wisely, our producer has hidden any corkscrews to ensure that you don't take home a collection of empty bottles. Never trust a prime guy. Do you like a drink? I certainly do. Yes. <laughs> what do you want, though? Um, can I have the fridge freezer, please? Fridge freezer? It's all yours. Thank you. The time of reckoning has arrived, so let's call up the bank and see who's the highest scorer. The contestant who will go against the clock and hopefully win £2,000. So, from left to right, Phil has 2500 Emma has 10600 And Andrew has 27,000 points. Congratulations, you're flying so low today. <laughs> 27,000 points. I can't believe it. That's amazing. But Phil and Emma, have you had a good day? Yeah. Fantastic. We don't go away empty handed. Phil, you've won £100 and all those DVDs. Thank you. Pleased? Yeah. Could you look pleased? <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. Uh, Emma, you won £100 and uh, the washing machine. Yeah. You desperately wanted that washing yeah, machine, didn't you? Yeah, desperately wanted it. Very good. Do you know what else you won, the two of you? A fantastic watch. Could you just sell it really big? What have you won? <laughs> a watch. Fantastic watch. Fantastic watch, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Andrew, are you ready to walk the walk? I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> Let's go. There we go, then, mate. Good luck. We want you to do this. The only thing that stands between you and £2,000 is this puzzle. I can give you a couple of clues. There are two words, and it's a famous person. What I need from you are six letters, five consonants, and a vowel. So clearly and concisely, 
The consonants first. R for Romeo, N for November, D for Delta, S for Sugar, and M for Mother. And now vowel? A for Apple. Let's put those letters into the board. Oh. Just the one, I'm afraid. Mm, remember, it's a famous person. Just keep saying as many names as you can think of. You've got 15 seconds, good luck. The 15 seconds start now. Just say some names. Um, Brian. No. no um, Just keep... Martin, no. No. Um, Just keep saying them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's all about the letters you choose. Okay. Oh, look, you've been a great contestant, though. Let's have a look at it, look. Keith Floyd. Keith Floyd, there it is. Terry, come and give this man a kiss, will you? Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> Thank you. Have you enjoyed your day? Yes, I've had a wonderful day, thanks. Well, you've been great. We really did enjoy it, didn't we? We did. It's been great fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, don't forget, you don't go empty-handed, though. Oh, no! You've also won the hi-fi, the fridge freezer, and do you know what I'm going to throw in? The watch. The watch! <laughs> <laughs> That's really made your day, hasn't it? It certainly has. Uh, that's it for this Wheel of Fortune. Do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, I'm Paul Hendy. If you haven't, I'm Joanna Lumley. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've been out doing those surveys again, and the top answers are on the board. We're playing Family Fortunes next on Challenge. And then we've a million reasons for you to come back later. We join Chris Tarrant for a classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's weeknights at 10.